Hey guys, I'm Chuck. Welcome back to our billiards. Uh, today I'm going to go over the cheapest way to get a ball cleaner. Uh, I mean, you could pay upwards to you know, five, six hundred bucks for a ball cleaner. But I made a ball cleaner at home just uh, using around the house stuff. It cost me about 25 bucks to make. Uh, what I did was, is I took a, a, a five gallon bucket and I cut a hole in it. And I bought a car, just a, a car buffer. Just a regular car buffer. I got it at Walmart for like 23 bucks. And what I did was I just put some uh, straps on it just to, to anchor it down so it don't roll around inside the inside the bucket. Kid toys. Anyway, uh, and then I took and all I did was I just took some uh, microfiber uh, cloth and just cut some strips. That way it's not rolling around inside the bucket. And I got these at Dollar Tree for like a buck. All right, and I put a little cardboard bouncer in here. That way while the ball is spinning, you know, it's it's getting bumped around. Because if not, it'll just keep spinning like, you know, like so. It won't get the whole ball. So when I all I did was I just stapled this with just you know regular uh, Stanley Stanley staple, staplers. So you can either do one of two things: you can either take your time and bend all of them, you know, with a, a pair of pliers or whatnot, or you know I just got I just put a guard up here. I had some old uh, uh, linoleum I just taped around the uh, staples so you know it wouldn't you wouldn't get hurt. But you could just go around. You know, I don't, you, know, you probably just get a spray glue also, uh, which would be the safer option. Uh, here are the balls I'm cleaning. You know, they're not, they're not uh, you know, horrific or nothing, but you can tell they need to be cleaned. Okay. I don't know if you see all the spots in that. Okay. And all I do is I put maybe, I like to put five in here at one time. Uh, you could put all of them, but you're not going to get much rotation out of it. The, the heavier it is, the less it wants to spin. Like if you put one ball in there, it just goes goes crazy. So, I'm going to start off with four balls. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, this is the solution I'm using. It's just uh, wax and dry. It's, uh, you know, car cleaner and wax. So, and this stuff is just made to dry real quick. I mean, you don't have to get the, the fancy stuff at the... The fancy kind of ball cleaner to clean your balls with. Okay. I just leave it on, and that way all I gotta do is plug it up to start the rotation. And all I do is I just make sure I get a little bit of each ball. You know, I don't have to like spray it down like crazy. how the bumpers are making it, you know, bounce around. If I didn't have them, they would just spin around in rotation to only get the bottom part of the ball. I like to do this for about, uh, I'd say at least 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes of fast, I'll come back and I will I'll show you the ball. Alright, see you in this minute. Alright, 10 minutes has been up. Um, so we're going to check the ball. What I'm going to do is just unplug it. But you can't get them out while they're going. You just got to pick them out by hand. I just like to take a little you know, microfiber cloth. Just wipe them down one the last time. Okay. Like I said the ball's already dry. if you see the difference between a ball that's been done and the ball that's, you know, hasn't been done yet. I said I do about four at a time. It just makes, I think that's just the best speed for it to do. So I can do more. I'll demonstrate on how it does with two. I 
probably don't have to use this, but but I don't probably have to don't have to use the fiber cloth, but I like to. But I'll do it with two. Now, I don't like you know spray it down real hard. I just you know put a little bit on it like that. Said you can get them out while it's going. You just have to ball it around. It ain't gonna hurt you. All right, I'll just take them, take them off with the cloth. All right. All right. See the difference? Like I said, it's already dry, but I like to. I just like to take the cloth and, and just redo it. You see how much better that looks? Okay. I'm gonna show you guys. You know why I only do about four at a time. And why I just don't throw a whole bunch in there. I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna throw about six or eight in there. And my tray is clean. Well, I thought it was. Make sure to clean that tray out before I put them back in there. All right. This is eight. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a little squirt squirt on them. So you don't have to put a whole lot, just enough to make it wet. It doesn't do bad, you just don't get as much rotation out of it. And you could do it like this, just uh, I believe in there a little bit longer. I feel like it's about 15 minutes, I guess. Well, I'll, I'll leave you guys with this. There's always ways of uh, upgrading uh, you know, less expensive ways to do things. Uh, you don't have to go out and spend, you know, five or six hundred dollars. You know, and it's just, this right here does just as good. This ain't gonna do any any better than you know the five hundred dollars I'm doing. It won't do any worse either. But like I said, I got uh, twenty twenty three dollars for the the buffer, about three bucks for the buffer, a dollar for the cloth, and go ahead and pay another dollar for the staple. And you know this the spare stuff I had, I said you can glue or whatnot on there. You know, like I said, you know, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get the same result. And, uh, I had a, a couple, a couple cues donated to me from a, uh, from a subscriber to me, named of Joel. I'm going to open those up for you here in just a second. I'll actually go ahead and do them for you guys now. I'll finish these up in a minute. A donation of a couple cues from a, a gentleman named Joel. He's a, a really good subscriber for me. Uh, he uh, comments on everything I do and uh, has always supported my channel ever since I've started. So I'm gonna open these. I told him I'd open them on camera and just see what he sent me. This is my first time seeing them too. I know he's from Arizona. So, uh, shout out to Arizona. Yeah. Uh, I'll get that later. First one is uh, an Arizona Wildcats. Uh, the 20 ounce is from uh, NCAA. It's uh, their logo. Let's see what kind of shaft we got. 
It looks like a aluminum. Uh, looks like an aluminum aluminum fitting. Uh, the interlock. Uh, the tip looks like a a pro leather tip. Looks to be about 13 millimeter. It's got the traditional wrap. It's a blue, red, and white. I've never had a uh, a college pool theme pool cue, but man, it's beautiful. Um, and it looks great. I can see that one. To be another Arizona State. This is one that is the Sun Devils, and this one is uh, the Wildcats. It's a traditional wrap. Got a devil, so I'm pretty sure that's the mascot. Sorry, I don't know much about Arizona. Looks like it has the exact same shaft with the interlock and the pro leather tip. Also from uh, NCAA. This one is a 19 ounce. Um, looks like it's about 13 millimeter. Also, uh, feels really good. All right. Well, thanks, Joel. I, I really do appreciate it, and I'll be giving a, a, a giveaway on a queue here soon. Uh, but so stay tuned for details. Um, and you know, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit me up in the comments. Uh, that way, you know, uh, I'll know who you are and know, you know any advice you can give me about making you know, my videos better. Um, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. You know, that way you get notified anytime I go live or put out new content. Alright, thank you guys.